Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel, and it's time to do some predictions for the playoffs. And congratulations to all the teams that made it in. The San Francisco Giants, oh, so freaking close, but we couldn't make it happen. So at the end of the day, it's the Milwaukee Brewers who get in despite losing that game against the Cardinals. The Brewers are in. Congratulations to the Brewers and all the other teams that are in. And I'll definitely have to make a video comparing my preseason predictions to who actually got in. I actually did pretty good in the American League. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this playoff bracket and uh, talk about my playoff predictions and what I think is going to happen. So here we go. We'll start in the American League and uh, get it going on. So the Tampa Bay Rays made the playoffs. I had them winning their division, and uh, that's exactly what happened. I was called an idiot. I was called an idiot for many of my predictions that came true, and I will not hesitate to let y'all know about it. And the Blue Jays also made it in, and uh, congratulations to them. I definitely thought they were going to have a great year. I had them in third place in my prediction, so I was uh, right on in the American League East. Blue Jays, a really nice team, a really exciting team. But I really love the Rays and their pitching staff. Despite the injuries, they've just continued to perform well. And the Tampa Bay Rays, definitely I have them moving on. So we're going to start with the Rays. I know that that's the favorite, but we're not going to pick all favorites here. That's just where it's starting. Indians and Yankees. And here, the New York Yankees are the New York Yankees. The Indians are a fantastic team. Um, obviously, they did great. They traded Clevenger over to the Padres, who's now hurt. Obviously, he won't be participating for the Indians. But the Yankees are a team that was pretty hot for a while. They slowed down a little bit. They just lost two out of three to the Marlins. But still, that offense is absolutely potent. I think the Yankees are going to come in motivated. I definitely see a Rays-Yankees matchup in the ALDS. So I'm going to pick the Yankees to move on there. Twins versus Astros. This is going to be a fun one. Obviously, a lot of eyes are going to be on this series. World Traveler, best of luck to your Astros. I have a lot of Astros fans watching the channel. A few Twins fans, but... At the end of the day here, the Minnesota Twins are definitely the team that had the better season, 36-24. and 24. The Astros' offense has struggled this year, hasn't been as good, and then you have Verlander falling to injury, and just a lot of injuries and a lot of issues here. The bullpen hasn't been great, and the Twins, on the other hand, they've looked excellent. They'll be sending Quinta Maeda out there, Jose Berrios probably in Game 2. The Twins are just going to be too much for the Astros. I definitely have the Twins taking that series. Next up, A's, White Sox. I've been so high on this White Sox team for a long time since the preseason. I've been talking up this team, saying great offense. I had them winning the division. I thought it was going to happen. They unfortunately fell right at the end, and the Twins overtook the White Sox, and the White Sox are starting to slow down. A's fantastic team as well this is a matchup right here this feels more like an ALCS rather than a play-in kind of wild card type series but yeah unbelievable matchup here I really think Dallas Keuchel is going to come out and pitch well and Lucas Giolito as well of course the A's are going to counter with guys like Sean Mania. they've got Chris Bassett they've got Mike Fires. And both offenses are really potent. This one's going to be close. I think it's going to go three games. This one could go either way. A's fans are going to be mad. But I got to stick with the team that I've been really high on for so long. I think that this offense is awesome. And like I said, Lucas Giolito, Dallas Keuchel, they've been great. Giolito threw a damn no-hitter. So, I mean, the White Sox, they have pitching. Let's not pretend they don't. I'm taking the Sox. Let's just say it. I'm just taking the Sox. Let's put it there. Twins, White Sox. Wow. Now to the National League, and we have the Dodgers Brewers. This one is tough only because the Dodgers do struggle in the playoffs. They have a tough time sometimes even getting out of that first round. But let's not pretend like the Dodgers never get out of the first round. They've been to the World Series, and they got to the World Series two years in a row. So the Dodgers are definitely a team that is coming in motivated. They are absolutely sick, 43-17. and 17. The Brewers are just barely slipping in here. So you're like, well, what's tough about that? But remember, last season, the Dodgers lost in the first round to the eventual Nationals. And if anyone picked the Nationals to beat the Dodgers and go all the way, they would have been called a complete moron. So you always have to hesitate here. And also, if the Dodgers happen to lose game one with Walker Buehler going... Then all of a sudden, Clayton Kershaw is pitching game two in a win-or-go-home game. And you know Clayton Kershaw does not pitch well in elimination games, at least historically. Could change, but I'm just saying, this, I think, is going to be a little closer than people think. But still, I'm going to go with the obvious pick here. I think that the Dodgers are going to just overwhelm the Brewers with those bats. So I'm going to say the Dodgers move on, but I just wanted to say that this is not the most obvious pick ever. And if you think it is... Just look at the Dodgers' playoff history in the last six years. 
Next is the Padres and the Cardinals. Again, the Giants have been dealing with this Padres team. This Padres team has been absolutely hot. This is a team that's just on fire. I mean, there's just so much talent here, and I can see the spirit in the dugout. I can see the camaraderie. I feel like this is a team that really believes. Now, the St. Louis Cardinals, all due respect to the Cardinals, they are a team that got in, but they had a, a tough season, a lot of doubleheaders this year, obviously with the COVID problems they had, and uh, they are fortunate, and they're happy to be in the playoffs, and they have a good team, and they have good pitching, but I'm going to say the Padres are definitely going to be the team that moves on. So we have Dodgers, Padres going at it in the NLDS. Cubs, Marlins. I can't believe the Marlins made it. I got to pick some upsets. Could this be the spot where I pick the upset? Um, I don't know. But Marlins, 31-29. and 29. What a season for the Miami Marlins. And this is really cool. This is a throwback series. You guys remember 2003. The Bartman series, that was Marlins Cubs, and the Marlins end up going all the way. And the Cubs, who completely fell apart in that game, that was it. That was Cubs and Marlins. But the Marlins are going to throw out Sixto Sanchez. They're going to throw out Sandy Alcantara. They're probably, if they get to a game three, we'll see Pablo Lopez for sure. Maybe even sooner in the game three. I don't know the exact schedule, but those are the three guys you would think the Marlins are going to go with. But the Cubs, they got you, Darvish. They got Kyle Hendricks, they got John Lester, and of course they got an array of superstars and great players on that team. And uh, this is going to be a fun one right here. I'm going to stick to the favorite here, but it's, I had to think about it quite a bit. I think this does go three games. I think the Marlins are able to grab one, but I'm going to say that the Cubs move on here. So moving on to the last game, Braves-Reds. Obviously, I was super high on the Reds. They did finish over 500. They did make the playoffs. The Braves obviously are legit, but the Reds are hot. The Reds are hot. 11-3 in their last 14. They're coming in hot. It's the hot team to look for right now. This is the team that's on fire. Red hot. Everything I thought of this team before the season still really stands. Even though they got off to a tough start, even though the offense wasn't there, they still got great pitching. They got potential Cy Young Award winners like Trevor Bauer. They got a great rotation, and they do have offense, and it's starting to heat up. And so all due respect to the Braves, they had a fantastic season. They have a really good team. They very well could move on. They might win a World Series. I picked the Braves to win the World Series in 2018 and 2019. They didn't do it. So this year, I am going to stick with the Reds, the team that I was high on all season long and, and all off season long, I should say. I'm going with the Reds, and I got them taking on the Cubs in the NLDS. Okay, now moving on to the ALDS, Rays, Yankees. And I'm going to stick with what I had preseason. That way I'm consistent. And I also really truly believe that the Yankees are going to play their best baseball in the postseason. I believe that beforehand. That's why I picked the Rays to win the division, which, which happened. And I believe that now. And I think the Yankees' offense is just going to absolutely explode. The Rays are going to give it everything they have. But I have the Yankees moving on to the ALCS. Twins and White Sox is going to be absolutely epic. The two teams that were fighting for the division crown all season long, in my personal predictions, would match up. And you have the Twins at 36 and 24 against the White Sox at 35 and 25. Again, both teams are awesome as far as their offense goes, and both teams have really good pitching. This would be just an absolutely awesome matchup if it actually happens. But I'm going to take the White Sox to move on to the ALCS. Moving on here, Dodgers, Padres. Well, if there's one team that's going to knock the Dodgers out this year, it could be a team that is just firing on all cylinders, a team that has pitching, a team that has a lot of great offense, obviously Fernando Tatis Jr., obviously Manny Machado, and a lot of other great young players and older veterans like Eric Hosmer contributing. Now, we're not sure about Den Nelson, Lamed, and Clevenger, but I think the Padres are hopeful that they'll get their help. But you know what? Even if they don't, I really feel like this Padres team is just playing confidently right now. And I think that they're going to come in strong. And I think in a best of five series like the NLDS is, that's the best chance to knock out the Dodgers, just like what happened last season. This one is going to be a lot of fun if this matchup actually happens, which I think is very possible, very likely, that the Dodgers and Padres will move on and play each other. So this would be a ton of fun. I am going to say that the Padres are able to get through this series. And it's not because I'm a Giants fan. And you can say that, oh, you're Giants fan, biased. Um, absolutely not. I talked great about the Dodgers all offseason. I think they have an absolute all-star team. I think they're unbelievable. But I also think that their manager makes weird-ass decisions in the playoffs. We've seen it before, and they tend to 
lack of a better word, choke in the playoffs. And we've seen it time and time and time and time again. So until they really prove that they can go out there and win a World Series, I'm not going to pick the Dodgers to win a World Series. They've been good for a long time. They've had the best roster in baseball for a long time and have not been able to get it done. Hey, best of luck to you guys. But I got the Padres moving on. Cubs Reds, Cubs Reds, Cubs Reds. Here's an interesting series right here. If this one happens, I have the Cubs taking on the Reds. And um, even though the Cubs have the better record, like I said, Reds are coming in hot. And I think the hot teams are going to move on. And I think two hot teams are going to take on each other in the NLCS. And I believe it's going to be the Reds and the Padres. So without getting into further details, I got the Reds moving on. So here we are, guys. I got my bracket. I got Yankees, White Sox, and I got Padres taking on the Reds. So we got to get to the World Series here. And I think, like I said, White Sox have been fantastic. I think I got them having a very nice postseason, getting all the way to the ALCS. But the Yankees, again, they are going to be just absolutely crushing the ball left and right. Their offense is going to be too much to handle, and their pitching is going to step it up. The New York Yankees will be moving on to the World Series. And in sticking with my original predictions, everything I said then pretty much still stands. I have the Cincinnati Reds moving into the World Series, and I think that these two teams are both going to be hot. The Reds, they, I feel like they believe in each other. I feel like they've got great camaraderie. I think the Padres, the same thing. But one team has to win and one team has to lose. And I think the Cincinnati Reds are just going to figure it out here just like the Nationals last year, just like the Giants in 10, 12, and 14. They're going to come together. They're going to have a fantastic series, and the Cincinnati Reds will move on to the World Series. Who's taking home the trophy? Well, I was high on them before the season. During spring training, they didn't have a great start, but the Cincinnati Reds are going to come out with that rotation. Sonny Gray, Luis Castillo, obviously Trevor Bauer, Archie Bradley's coming out of the pen to help out now. Rassel Iglesias had a much better year, as I predicted. He's been fantastic out of the bullpen this year. It's all clicking for the Reds. They're hot. They're going to really catch it in the playoffs. You know, they've already caught it. They're playing great baseball. Yankees are going to be good as well. They're going to hit a bunch of home runs. They're going to win some games. This is going to be an unbelievable World Series in my predictions. And I got the Cincinnati Reds taking it. Cincinnati Reds are going to be... World champions, I'm submitting my picks to Major League Baseball. You guys see it here first. Let's see how well I do on this bracket. Obviously, it's not going to be perfectly correct. In fact, it's probably going to be absolutely terrible. But these are my predictions. Cincinnati Reds taking it home. World champions against the New York Yankees. Just like I predict preseason, they're both in the playoffs. And I got some stuff wrong preseason as well. But a lot of it I got right, and I think that this one is going to be one that I'm going to stick with. Reds, Yankees, Reds take it home, world champions for 2020. So there you have it. That's my final prediction there with the Cincinnati Reds going all the way. I want to thank MLB for making that bracket, making that a lot easier for this video so I didn't have to do anything crazy today. I'm just able to use that bracket, and that was really helpful in getting this out. So... Guys, let me know what you think of those predictions, and uh, let's see what happens. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. We'll definitely be covering those playoffs. Going to have some play-by-play, -play, and uh, hey, we'll see what the World Series matchup is, and maybe I can get to Arlington and uh, cover it there live, but uh, that all depends, obviously, on a lot of factors, including money have a fantastic one everybody thank you so much for joining me today please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and please hit that thumbs up button you guys have a great day we'll talk to you next time see ya when the giants come to town it's bye bye baby every time the chips are down it's bye bye baby Making at Oracle Park.